What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have our brand new WWE Elite Action Figure Reveals coming to us from San Diego Comic-Con 2020. As we know, Comic-Con was cancelled, so all of our reveals will be coming to us over the airwaves, over the internet, on WWE.com, on YouTube. There's going to be a lot of stuff coming in the next few days, guys. Plenty of reveals coming, plenty of future renders and figures that are going to be coming at the end of the year, going to be coming into 2021. Today, we finally have our first day of reveals. They're going to start today, and I think they're going to go all the way through the weekend, so it's going to be busy, man. Turn on your notification bell and stay tuned because we got a lot of reveals to get through this weekend and this week, but let's go ahead and dive in, guys. We got some more stuff today, starting with Elite Series 78, starting out with brand new WWE Elite 78 Kofi Kingston. This one looks really freaking good, man. We already knew. We already saw the imagery on the render image from a while back. It's going to come with the SmackDown Tag Team Championship and a plate of pancakes. I think this Kofi looks amazing. I love the attire. I love the head sculpt. The face isn't as good as I would say is his last Elite, but I love the attire. I like all the colors we're getting. Kind of gives me like an MDT theme. Pink sleeves, SmackDown Championship. I think this is one of Kofi's better Elites. I like the head sculpt. I like the, the blonde streaks in the front. Um, it does look like they left out the fade again. If he did have the fade, I'll have to add it myself. But I like the way this Kofi looks, man. I think the Kofi looks really, really good. All the graphics and colors, and it, it's all popping off. This is a really strong figure. Very excited to see this. Not only do we have Elite Series 78 today, guys, but we also have Elite Series 79 along with an exciting uh, two-pack that we're going to get into. But that is Kofi Kingston. The next figure in the set, guys, is going to be Matt Riddle. Yes, Matt Riddle, as you guys can see. And it does look like they are going to be going with with that Kerry Von Eric uh, full body, except for the arms, it looks like. This is a Kerry Von Eric Elite, pretty much head to toe. Like, obviously, it's a Matt Riddle head sculpt. It looks like they changed out the shoulders, arms, and the skin tone's not the same, but they did go with the jack thighs. Shorts are pretty long compared to what his render was. You know, it's, it's like the same length. You know, I was worried about that short length coming in from the render image, but I think it still looks good. Um, the only problem I really have with this figure is probably, like, it looks kind of like he has cankles because it's so thick, like, from his calf to his ankle. It's a little thick to me. You do get the little calf rotation right there. Maybe you can switch that out with the UFC figure, you know, uh, like we've done on all of our customs, switching out the lower legs with a Jack's UFC figure. Maybe that's possible. Maybe when we get the Jazzwares uh, UFC figures, maybe you can switch it with those lower legs. I don't know. We'll have to see about that. The Wicked Cool Toys and Jazz wears UFC figures. We'll have to see about that. But the Matt Riddle comes with a ton of accessories, man. Headband, shirt, slides. I mean, this guy looks great. The torso, I probably would have went with Rollins' torso, but I still like it. You know, this is the render image torso that they went with, and I like it, man. The jacket looks amazing. That original bro jacket, he comes with interchangeable hands. The slides, I mean, this thing's a beast. I'm, I'm not too, I don't know how I feel about the head sculpt, but I think all the rest of the stuff, we do have a basic you could interchange it with if you didn't like this elite head sculpt. You could interchange it, but I think Matt Riddle's a strong figure. I, I actually like this figure a lot. I think it's going to be a really good one, and I think you should go pre-order it. If you want to pre-order Elite Series 78, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. I think this is a must-have. This is a pre-order figure, man. That's, that's a beast. That jacket makes it worth it alone right there. Uh, the next figure in the set is R-Truth, guys. We have Elite Series 78 R-Truth. I feel like we've seen this render image forever. We are finally getting our 24-7 championship in hand, and I think it looks good. I like the way it looks. Um, kind of has like a basic title look to it, um, which I'd like it if it was shiny, because that title's pretty to think I'm shiny, man. I mean, it's it's it looks like a, I don't know, it kind of looks like a diner logo or something in the middle for the 24-7 championship. I think that would look a lot better if it was shiny. Maybe we can put some uh, glossy shiz over it and make it, you know, look a little bit more glossy. But this R-Truth looks good. Uh, I like the interchangeable hands. It looks like he's going with, like, some throne sitting, grabbing hands. He's got all of his tattoos. I like the shorts mold. Um, I know those ankles are going to be a little bit loose, but I am excited to add a new R-Truth to the collection, so that is not going to bother me, man. I like it. I like it a lot. I like the head sculpt. It's about time we can update our R-Truth and actually have a 24-7 championship. And if you guys notice on the shorts, he has some new details on the shorts there that are sculpted on, which is pretty cool for our truth and maybe we could add that to a different figure down the line but our truths looking pretty good right there man 
Next up for us, we have Naomi, and she is going to be the Chase variant version. Now, this first version we're looking at is the regular version. This is going to be the regular version, so the version that has, like, the black and green on the attire, kind of lightning, glowy, like, uh, galaxy-ish. I, I guess I'd call it lightning. It's like a glow lightning with the glowing SmackDown Women's Championship. Head sculpt looks amazing. I love the hair with the ombre from dark into darker green into the lime green color. Really beautiful figure. I think I think this is a really good figure, man. Really good Naomi figure. I can't wait to get this one. Replace my basic Naomi that I got. This one will be perfect. I think this is going to be a great women's figure. Interchangeable hands. SmackDown Women's Championship. But the interchangeable version, the Chase variant version, at the end, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. The, the, the Chase variant version looks even better, man. Super neon. Got pink in it. Got the highlighter shoes. The, uh, the Chase variant version is a beast. I love the Chase variant version much more. I love the lime green. You got the feel of glow there. The pink and the lime green just really stands out to me. And then she does have her shoes, which have the uh, glowing blue on the bottom. Really good figure. This is definitely the best Naomi. I think the Chase variant is worth the pickup. So if you guys can track down the Chase variant of this, I definitely would. I like the Chase variant better than the regular version. You guys can let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. But I really dig the Naomi. I think it's a really strong figure. The next figure in the set is going to be Drake Maverick. Now this is, I think this is the bummer of the set, if you want me to be honest with you. Really plain attire, you know, the black and white. We already knew what this figure looked like from render images. But the, the hands on this man are massive, especially you can tell in this one photo uh, you can tell that his interchangeable hands are the same as any other figure so that we really need to figure out a way to get smaller hands for the smaller guys such as Rey Mysterio, Drake Maverick, Kalisto, guys like that because these hands are definitely massive for this Drake Maverick. It may be a running change, but he does come with the cloth Maverick 24-7, you know, t-shirt. He's got the wanted poster for R-Truth, black and white wrestling gear for Drake Maverick. And I like the torso for this. You might could use this for some other, you know, cruiserweights or some customs or something like that. But I do like this head sculpt. I think it looks like Drake Maverick. Not a big Drake Maverick fan, but uh, you do get some cool accessories with this if you wanted to add this to the collection. If you wanted to switch this out with some hands, you might be able to switch it out with somebody else because those hands just look massive. Uh, there may be some hands out there that you can switch it with, which I'm sure there is, but I still think this looks good. Next up, guys, we have the Collector's Edition Elite 78 Billy Graham. Now, this one's sick, man. I love the attire, the purple and white, the pink boots. You get an older Billy Graham head sculpt, and you get a younger Billy Graham head sculpt, and he comes with the... I can never... I can never think of the John Brown name for that for the thing that goes around their neck I don't know why I can't ever think of the name of it a boa it's a freaking boa why can I never remember it I don't know but you get the tie-dye uh you know the tie-dye uh, cut-off shirt, the muscle tee, or whatever you want to call that, tank top there. That looks fantastic. Kind of reminds me of the Don Morocco Survivor Series Elite shirt we got right there. I don't think it's the exact same, but it is very similar. I like the skin tone going on with this guy. This is a really strong figure. I like the Billy Graham. I don't know how hard it's going to be to track down, you know, because the collector's editions are crazy nowadays, especially when they don't even stock the regular elites, it seems like. So Billy Graham may be a tough one to get, but it looks like it's worth the pickup. I want it for my classic shelf. I like the way he looks. He looks like a freaking beast. So Superstar Billy Graham's looking pretty John Brown good right there for me. Next up, guys, we have Elite Series 79. We're going to start off with Elite Series 79 with Roman Reigns, the big dog Roman Reigns. Now, they did change some tooling on this figure. You guys will notice on the gauntlets. His gauntlets are brand new. We are getting a new vest with the dog logo on there. We haven't seen Roman Reigns in a long time. The only thing that I have an issue with this figure is the head sculpt. I mean, this is the exact top talents head sculpt we've seen. The exact same head sculpt that we got with the Elite 68 Roman Reigns. And uh, I know it's a new vest. They did change up the gauntlets. And we do get two interchangeable head sculpts with this guy. You get the basic ponytail head sculpt and you get the long hair down head sculpt. So I guess that's okay. I really would like to see a new head sculpt, but I'll take it for now. It does seem like they may have shrunk down that ponytail head sculpt just a tad to fit the figure better. I do like the new gauntlets. I like the way the gauntlets look. They look like they're more detailed. They got better paint apps on them and stuff like that. But kind of a plain Jane figure, you know, universal title. Uh, two interchangeable head sculpts, gold and black vest. You know, it's kind of like an updated network spotlight Roman Reigns, if you will. It's kind of how I like to look at it, but he's not the only figure from Elite 79 that we get to take a look at, guys. We also have Elite Series 79, Randy Orton. Now, I thought he was going to be in Elite Series 78. Okay, that's my apologies. Roman Reigns is the first figure out of Elite Series 79, guys, but the Elite Series 78 is Randy Orton. Randy Orton's a part of Elite Series 78, so I guess they kind of messed up on that, but this Randy Orton is from Elite Series Series 78. Now, I will say, I don't like this head sculpt. I, I'm not really big on this head sculpt. I think 
that the uh, you guys know the elite that I use in all my pay-per-view predictions the uh, you know that fix up it's like the basic I don't even know what the basic series is it's like basic 74 or 75 or something like that Randy Orton I love that head sculpt I think that's still today uh, one of the best Randy Orton head sculpts to just capture the lightness. I'm not big on this head sculpt. They did do the same thing they did with the Elite 69 Randy Orton. No, but what was it? The Elite 67, my bad. The Elite 67 Randy Orton, it's pretty much that exact same figure. It is going to come in the black, red, and white attire with the RKO's on the knee pad. So you get a little bit of a different attire here. The head sculpt is what you will. He is looking off to the right. Um, and uh, they did do the same things. He's got the same vest with different graphics. He's got the green vest over the uh, the one that we got last time. It looks pretty solid in the packaging. I'm not big on the head sculpt. I'll probably switch out the head sculpt for a different one. But overall, I still like the Randy Orton. I like collecting his figures. One of my favorites of all time. I like the, you know, they continue with the tattoos on the torso, so you love to see that. That is definitely something you love to see. But Randy Orton is the last figure in Elite Series 78. Billy Graham, again, is the collector's edition, and the Chase Vary is Naomi, so that is something to keep up with. But now we're going to go back to Elite Series 79. Now, uh, Randy Orton was Elite 78. Roman Reigns was one of the figures in Elite 79. Now we're running it back to Elite 79 with Daniel Bryan. Now, you guys know the last one we got was Elite 73. Very similar attire. This is, you know, sort of the Planet's Champion attire. He's got the green. He's got the brown. He's got the black. It's very similar to the Elite 73, except it does come with a slightly different attire, and he is going to come with interchangeable head sculpts. So it kind of seems like this line and moving forward, we're going to get more interchangeable head sculpts. It kind of seems like we're moving in that direction of multiple head sculpts with different figures, which is very beautiful to see. We may be on the verge of seeing, you know, multiple figures every set having interchangeable head sculpts. I like this. This is a re-release head sculpt. It's just updated with true effects and different paint apps. I do believe this is the Elite 19 Daniel Bryan head sculpt. I could be wrong about that, but it does look good. I like it. You know, you can have your different versions there. You may even want to uh, shave the hair down and do a different color and kind of have it like that fade look if you want a complete shaved head. I still like it, man. That's great. You get four pairs of interchangeable hands with this Daniel Bryan. You got the throne sitting hands. You got the yes chant hands. You got the fist. You got the mic holding hands. So tons of stuff with that figure. It is kind of plain Jane, so that's probably why they threw in all those hands and the two interchangeable head sculpts. This is from the Royal Rumble strap match. Uh, for the Universal Championship between him and The Fiend. And uh, our next figure in Elite Series 79 is going to be Big E. So our Big E figure is going to go along with our Elite 78 Kofi Kingston. Again, this this attire, these bright colors, I think this is the best New Day set that we've seen out of all of them. The three-pack and the Elite 43 and 45, or Elite 43 and 44 from back in the day. The Elite 52 set we got, the uh, America set that we got. This is definitely the best New Day set we've seen as far as colorways are concerned. The light blue, the pink, the purplish, all that stuff going on. I like the, this New Day the best. It is a new Big E head sculpt unless we've seen this on a battle pack. If we have, I do apologize for that, but... Uh, as far as elites go, it is new, and so we are getting a new Big E. It looks like, to me, it is the same torso. I don't think that's a new torso mold, so they're going with the same torso that we've seen from Big E. Sort of a harder figure to pose around, but he is a bigger guy, so that makes sense. But I like it. SmackDown Tag Team title, Mike holding hands, Ricochet style Kawhi Leonard, Big AF hands, and then you have a plate of pancakes to go with him. Now, moving forward in the set, guys, you got to complete the trifecta with the New Day, right? So introducing Elite Series 79, Xavier Woods. Now, this is really cool because he is going to be coming with his very own championship from his YouTube channel, the Up Up Down Down Championship from his YouTube channel where he likes to play video games and stuff. This is very sick. I have a custom title of this, but in Mattel figure form, this looks great. He does come with two interchangeable head sculpts, so he's going to have his regular head sculpt that we've seen before, just a different hair. You know, his hair's pulled back. He's got some facial hair. He is going to come with his with the instrument. He's got he's got his beautiful attire going on again that matches Big E and Kofi. I like this Xavier Woods a lot. He's got his blondish hair here. I slightly remember him, you know, having his hair down like that and braided that way. But it's not standing out to me exactly when. But the Up Up Down Down Championship looks fantastic. I don't think those sunglasses are removable for that head sculpt. So if you want to use that head sculpt, I think that is... Uh, I don't think you can remove the glasses on that. So that is something to take note of. But the New Day as a set looks great. I am really pumped for all three of those. I think they look really, really good as a set. 
Next up, guys, is something that is super huge. Introducing Elite Series 79, Bobby Fish, and he is in the War Games attire. And he is the Chase variant, and the War Games attire is not the Chase variant. So we are going to get our War Games Bobby Fish, and you guys know that Kyle O'Reilly is a part of Elite Series 80. So I'm guessing that he will also be in the War Games attire, which means that Adam Cole has to be somewhere soon with the War Games attire, right? I mean, it just makes sense. He would have to be in the War Games attire. That way we can complete our Undisputed Era in the War Games attire with the camo. I think this Bobby Fish looks great. Head sculpt isn't the best. He's kind of making like a wacky face there, but he does come with the Tag Team Championship, the shirt, interchangeable hands, all kinds of stuff coming with this Bobby Fish. I really like the attire. I like the camo. I like the gear going on. I think the lower legs look cool with the camo on it. I am happy with this. I can't wait to see what it looks like up next to the rest of them, and we still have to wait and see what our Kyle O'Reilly looks like, but after, uh, after Bobby Fish, guys, we also have a look at the Chase variant Bobby Fish, which is in the black and gold, which I think you guys remember the Adam Cole from the Fan Central Takeover, uh, the, the Fan Central poll where they, you know, they polled the audience, what Adam Cole do you want? And uh, I think the black and gold version, one of that, I think that matches this Bobby Fish. So maybe that's where they're tying that in. We're trying to get a full set of black and yellow Undisputed Era updated compared to the War Games attires that we're also going to get. I just don't know how they're going to swing that War Games Adam Cole if that one did not win the poll. So, I don't know. We'll just have to see where they can fit Adam Cole in. Maybe 81, 82. Maybe we'll find out at San Diego Comic-Con. Maybe they'll do a render image of Adam Cole. But there is the, uh, you know, the uh, Chase variant Bobby Fish. If you guys want to track that one down. And the last thing that we have to show you guys here today, guys, is the two-pack. WCW Goldberg versus Bret Hart Elite two-pack. That we covered. We knew that this would be a thing. And we were wondering, you know, how are they going to do it? Because I think the time that that happened, they did have him. He was wearing, like, shorts and a hockey jersey. It was like a promo, and Bill Goldberg wasn't even in his ring gear. I think he was in a promo gear as well, like jeans and a jacket. So they did go with these two versions here. You can see the pink and black. It comes with the WCW United States Championship. It comes with the uh, the metal rib protector or whatever you want to call that. You have pretty much a re-release of the uh, entrance grates with the Elite 76, or uh, no, my bad, Elite 74 Goldberg head sculpt with the throwback uh, beard. And then you have the interchangeable head sculpt, which we saw with the main event Raw ring and the entrance grace Goldberg, along with interchangeable ha uh, interchangeable hands, which is like Mike holding hands and choke slamming hands. You have the Bret Hart with the championship, the uh, regular Ultimate Edition head sculpt, and a WCW Monday Night Nitro shirt, which uh, Bret Hart was wearing a Toronto Maple Leaf jersey, if I'm not mistaken, during that moment. So I guess they just decided to throw in a WCW t-shirt, which is cool. And the packaging for this is is very sick, man. You got the WCW logo, the Elite there. You got the freaking Fire, Brett, Hitman, Hart, Goldberg. I mean, this is a beautiful set of packaging, and uh, I think you throwback collectors are going to like this a lot. I like it a lot. It looks fantastic. The back of the packaging looks great as well. And just overall, this is a very sick two-pack. I like it a lot. Um, plenty of stuff. If you missed out on some stuff, you can grab this thing. I think that's a repaint of the King of the Ring, Bret Hart. That is ringside exclusive. I could be wrong about that. It's like a slightly lighter-ish pink and not as saturated. It's like a reddish salmon-ish color, which uh, is interesting to note. But that is all the reveals, man. I mean, I, I think we start out strong. Again, we're going to have reveals coming today, tomorrow, the next day, and the next day, I believe. So the next four days, guys, be sure to turn on your notification bell. Plenty of stuff here. What do you think of Elite Series 78, 79, and the two-pack from uh, Goldberg and Bret Hart? I think it's all great. If you want to pre-order any of this, I think you can go over to Ringside Collectibles right now and use promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. So definitely go over there and pre-order all this stuff, guys. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Again, lots of stuff coming in the next few days. I mean, there's a, just tons of stuff to cover. So uh, just stay tuned, and we're going to cover it all here on the channel for you guys. So subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss anything. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.